Come on, now you big girl, come on. Oh man. All right, all right, all right. Come on, little help, little help, there we go. Can't get in the back of the truck anymore. Golden cracklings? Y'all like pork rinds? I don't know what these cows want, but I'm pretty sure I do not got it. So I am doing the dog poofs, but I have a couple um, footholds with me. So I try to set up a few for coyotes back here. A ton of coyotes around here, uh, as well as some bobcat. And I would love to catch a coyote or a bobcat, because I've never been able to catch one before. I haven't really targeted it much, but it's kind of on my bucket list. So just doing these simple stake in the ground. I'm gonna remove this brush out of here. Just bait it up. So I've got, my homemade bait here, it's been set in a couple days, so it's nice. Kind of soaked in all those flavors. It's like a nice soup, you know, you just put everything together and let it simmer and it's just even better like the next day. All right, so I'm gonna scoop up some of that. And throw it in my trap. Now here's where we try something a little bit new. Put this egg right on top here. So, two things. The egg, I'm hoping, will block the rainfall and moisture um, from making the, the bottom of it soggy and gross and leak out the bottom. And it's also, I'm hoping, can keep rodents away from that. So we've got basically kind of covering this entire opening of that can. Of course a raccoon or possum can just knock that off, but they are attracted as well to eggs. This is a rotten egg, so if they break it open it's going to be super pungent, but hopefully I won't be here when they do. To set that on top there, and I'm hoping that raccoon that comes by is going to see this, want to know what it is. It's nice and bright and white, it's very showy, so I'm hoping they're going to see this and recognize it, say hey an egg, and run over, investigate, see the bait, open it up and uh, get your hand caught in there. We'll see what happens. This little pond here, if you've been with me for a little while, did a Two years ago, did a series of videos stocking this with crappie. And first we put the, uh, the fathead minnows in there, then we checked them. And when we had a good sustainable population of fathead minnows that I had produced a couple times, we put in some crappie. And so this spring I'm gonna be adding to that series and doing kind of a final follow-up video of how healthy the crappie population are. So I have no idea if they've, they've survived. I have no idea if the fathead minnows have survived. I have no idea. So we're going to be setting some minnow traps around in different places and then we're going to be trying to go uh, catch some crappie, catch some fathead minnows and get kind of a general um, idea of how much, uh, what kind of population size is in there and how well the crappie have done as well as how much they've grown because they were just, you know, a couple inches long when we got the crappie. So that's been a year. Uh, I'm going to check it in the spring which is coming up in a couple months. So. You might want to hit the subscribe button, maybe hit the notification if you're interested in trying to see what happened to the, the crappie population. Got a creek down here, which I know they travel all the time. There's prints, tracks everywhere going up and down this creek. And I see them all the time back here when I'm deer hunting. And from the creek, I got my stud up there. But if they're paying attention, they look up on the bank and they're going to see this egg right here kind of sits up a little high because it's up on top of the dog proof and so it's a good visual 
and hopefully they can see that. Then they get up here, investigate, do a little sniffing around and get caught on my track. Man, that had me fooled. Just laying like this. Looked like a point. Got a tire in the creek here. See if I can. Oh, it stuck good. Get that out of here and ugh, get that out of that creek. So, found some coyote scat here. A ton of hair in there. Pretty good sized turd there, so noted. I don't actually have any real good coyote bait or meat or anything um, with me today, but this is kind of kind of be a really good spot that I'll be thinking about. There's a lot of brush piles, so brush piles attract rabbits and other rodents. All those rodents attract coyotes, foxes, and bobcats. So got a bunch of mice, um, dead mice that I've been collecting and freezing. So I'm gonna bring um, some mice and maybe do a uh, set in the uh, brush pile over there. Never caught a coyote in my entire life or a bobcat, and it's something that I would like to do. I never really target them very much, but this year I would like to at least catch one and um, cross that off the bucket list. This road that we typically drive into is not passable right now. So we're gonna walk it so we have a couple extra mile um, walk. So we're getting our exercise today anyway. But we're gonna check on these these dog proof traps with the new bait I made and see how we did. Lots of animals using this road. Definitely a lot of movement around. Got a little raccoon tracks, a few coyote tracks back there, some possum tracks. Good variety. First catch of the new place. You don't look very friendly, buddy. <laughs> the trap's still here. Egg's gone. I said the egg that I had on top of it is gone, but the bait is still in there and it got knocked over so something was by here but they weren't interested in the coon bait another one it's got the egg but didn't even set the trap off yeah they just got the egg they didn't set the trap off A possum? No, it's a raccoon. No, it's a lie. Big old mean one. Ooh, you're big. You look really mad. You're getting a good workout, ain't you? Yeah, I'm like sweating. And I can already see, got another pretty good sized one here at the bottom of the hill. Three, three with nine traps. That is not bad. First day, first day out like overnight. So there's quite a few tunes here. I'm gonna have to come back. Unfortunately, because I'm dragging my son and everything else, I didn't bring bait with me. But we are definitely gonna have to uh, come back and bait these up and uh, come back and check out. I think I'm gonna put some more here, but that's that's a big fella there.
that's a good sized male and really beautiful uh, pelt great color to it this is just like a combination of a good good bait that they liked uh, that that egg really did the trick I think um, the ones that like even the ones that didn't have a raccoon in them and the bait was still there obviously whatever was walking around seen that and had to come investigate that egg really picks that up it's just this white egg this white ball uh weird shape you know in the middle of the woods and animals just pick up on that they see that it's strange they got to go investigate and so if it's a raccoon or if it's a possum or something that's attracted to something like that they're going to come over and investigate then they're going to smell the feed and then that's when they get their hand caught in there and uh so it's good combination good bait that egg trick really does does work very well and um, just good locations nice fresh place um obviously lots of raccoon here This car don't work anymore, buddy. This was daddy's car when he was in high school. It's an 81 Buick Electra. She's a dandy, isn't she? This is the last trap I put out. We got a little possum. He's just a little guy. It's your lucky day, little guy. It's your lucky day. Cause you ain't got enough hide worth even dealing with and i can't bear killing stuff and not using some part of it so when you come out of your little trance buddy you're free to go come on dude i know you're fine you're fine get along get out of here now don't get caught in the same trap twice, whatever you do. Run along, get bigger, come back next year. Try again. Go. I knew this would be a good spot because Got this clear lane along this fence. You got a pond over here. You got another pond over here. Just lots of water, lots of animals. Oh, and there's a creek over there. So I knew there'd be lots of animals going around here. So he's he's just fine running off. Hopefully he stays away from the turkey eggs.